We're back with episode two of Overwatch's quick tips, all killer, no filler. You guys left us some fantastic tricks in the comments on the last video, and we've picked a few of our favorites and thrown in some more great tips to help you dominate every game. I'm feeling some good vibrations. Whilst playing Sanctum Control Map on Nepal, you can use a small ledge to run along the outside wall of the structure and get behind the enemy undetected. A marvel of engineering. If you build Torbjorn's turret on top of the health pack, it will actually use it to heal after taking damage. You're in my house. It's possible to cancel the second half of Roadhog's lengthy reload time with a quick melee attack. Not only does this let you fire again sooner, but offers the potential for a little more damage. A similar technique can be used as Reaper. Looks like another victory! When using a boosters, Diva's mech will deal damage to any hero it collides with. However, for additional damage, you can follow it up with a quick melee attack just as you hit the target. Look out, world! Trace is here! On Volskaya Industries, it's possible for many heroes to make use of the left-hand flank. Any hero with a flight, jump, teleport, or dash skill can clear the gap, and by doing so, they can often get behind unsuspecting foes and clear out snipers with ease. And if you're looking for a way to defend against this kind of attack, Mei can use her ice wall to block off the route and cause her foes to fall to their deaths. <laughs> And there's a rotten egg! Hello! Trace is able to use her blink to dive right through Reinhardt's charge and avoid it. I'm going to own all these noobs. Genji's deflect and Diva's defense matrix both work against projectiles and hit scan weapons. However, <sighs> I found this out the hard way. They don't work against channel skills like Symmetra's and Zarya's beams, Winston's Tesla cannon, or man, did I get torn up by May's blaster when I was playing Genji. Hey, chill out! These are just some of the few tips and tricks we have to share, and more are definitely on the way. But if you, that's you, got any awesome techniques you'd like to share, be sure to let us know in the comments below. We've used them from the last video, and they will definitely be featured in a future video. As always, this is Dash for Cows saying thanks for watching, and enjoy the game.